Okay. First lesson, uh, you should have read The Gift of the Magi at this point. Uh, usually that is taught at Christmas, but I didn't want to wait. It's the simplest and one of the shortest short stories that I have, and I like to start off easy. Uh, it has irony, which we will talk about later because many of our stories are ironic. But right now, I want to start you with like very, very simple stuff because I want to build up to the good stuff. So let's talk about journalistic questions. One of the best ways to explain any situation that happens, and a situation like a narrative story, is to use the journalistic questions. So the journalistic questions are who, what, where, when, and how. So let's say, for example, we had a fight outside the school. Uh, the first question you want to answer is who? Who fought? Was there somebody? Was, was it students at the school? Was it teachers at the school? Was it random strangers? Who fought? Two. Where? Where did it happen? Right outside the school? A block over? Inside the school? In my classroom? That's important. When? When did this happen? Two years ago? Who cares? Yesterday? That might be important. It will happen tomorrow? That's really important to know. So timing and time is, is another part of it. Uh, who, what, where, when? What? I forgot what. What happened? A fight outside the school. That's what happened. That's that's your basic details about plot. And uh, how? How did it happen? Somebody talked about somebody else's mom. Did somebody take a swing at somebody else? Was there just a mistake? Has this fight been brewing for a while? How did it happen? Somebody threw a cigarette at somebody else? Who knows? How did it happen? So the five journalistic questions will explain a story. When uh, we have the five journalistic questions, you may notice that there is a sixth question word missing. And that's because in most journalism, you want to avoid why. Because why requires background knowledge. Why requires you to make usually guesses unless you're personally involved. And if you're personally involved, it's not journalism. So why we tend to leave for other people to figure out. Because why tends to have a lot of background and it can be a little subjective. So avoid why if you can. But I want you to, with the assignment that I've given you, you are reading the, the book. You will probably have had some issues because I didn't give you the easy reader version. Ask me if you want the easy reader version. I have multiple copies of it. But the regular version that you have has lots of big words. So I expect you'll have to look some of those up. But I want you to give me the who, uh, who was involved in the story, who is, who is the important part. I want you to give me the when does the story take place. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some levels to explain this because I want you guys to know what I expect from you. Uh, when I say when does the story take place, I, I don't want Christmas time. <laughs> That's not specific enough. Uh, an E level would be something like the past, the future, modern day. Um, C level would be something like uh, the past, and here's some details from the story why. The future, and here's some details from the story that explain that. Um, I want some. I want some examples, some textual examples. And and A level would mean I am wowed because in general C level is good in Sweden. Uh, the what? I want what happens in the story. Give me a sequence of events. Give me a, a starting place. Even if it's a list, give me where it starts, what happens next, what happens next, what happens next. It doesn't need to be extremely detailed. I don't need every single detail to happen. But all the important stuff should be there. The important stuff should be in the, the thing. I, I don't want anything important left out. Where does the story happen? Uh, again, don't just give me a place. Give me a place and why. Give me some examples from the story that let you think that that where that you're sure where where it is. Back up what you're saying, because that's half of English class, at least this kind of English class. Uh, are there clues that provide in answers for that? Why do you think that the na uh, that the narrator says the characters are wise? Uh, I want to know specifically what you, why you think that the narrator, narrator says that. Also, 
I, I want to know if you have seen some version of this somewhere else. And finally, if you could give me a short paragraph, uh, which could be three to five sentences, not it doesn't need to be very long, uh, about uh, what, if there is anything about you, you don't need to tell me what the thing is, but if there is anything about you that sums you up as these characters are summed up. When we talked about the characters, one of them is heavily defined by her hair, and the other one is heavily defined by his watch. And so they, when they think of each other, they think of each other's hair and they think of each other's watch. And that doesn't mean that's all they are to each other, but it is a, a symbol of who they are. And that is what makes their, their sacrifice uh, so valid and so meaningful. So think about that. And I will probably try to put this in, uh, in as an oop gift, but I really just want some text from you guys. Uh, feel free to use Teams to turn it in, or you can give me a physical copy if you're more comfortable with that. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye. Sorry for the weird recording. Mm.